All right, Athena, give him a good counseling session. Let's find out about Mr. Rhymes' childhood. You got it, boss. Time to go do a thing. Internet. Huh? What's this? What are you getting, Athena? Hmm. This testimony is pretty complex. Feelings of deep sadness and intense anger are being called up. Those two emotions appear to be running out of control. Out of control emotions. Is that going to be a problem? We'll have to probe their cause if we want to get to the tr his true emotions and testimony. There might even be odd or unnatural spots in his testimony he isn't aware of. All right, let's probe the cause of this out of control emotions then. We're going to probe it. Mr. Rhymes, if you could please bend over. I'll explain how to probe. Let's find the root cause together. When you see something off in a statement, tap the... Are we just doing this again? Oh, because this is DLC. And we haven't done this before. Potentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how to do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We already had to do this once to get to this case. Emotion... Wow, out of control emotions. It's just these two. In the show pool, the orca shot the captain up into the air. Then the captain came down and slammed into the water. I can still remember the spectators' screams. All Sasha did was move the body. She was trying to protect the orca. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, I freaked. Wow. Yeah. What's causing anger and sadness? I doubt there were any spectators there at the show stage when the owner died. If there had been, those witnesses would have told us the true crime scene right away. What? Oh, right. Of course. I just made a mistake. Let me change my testimony. Um, mm, mm, mm. Okay, that made the sadness subside. So maybe the spectators part was what was making him sad? I wonder why he would make that mistake saying spectators were there. How strange. He's talking about something else. The only thing I can think of is that he was mixing up one memory with another. Like... He was in a similar situation before, and it was deeply imprinted on his heart. A situation where an orca killed somebody, and there were spectators there. Hey, I think I know why he's mixing up his memories. The reason why Mr. Rhymes makes up his memories is... Take that! The badge? Could this be the reason Mr. Rhymes mixed up his memories? No, I don't think that piece of evidence would make him mix up his memories. No? Oh. Let's look for something that shows he suffered intense emotional pain in the past. We're not ready for that yet. Okay, when it comes to psychology, I can really count on Athena. Hey, I think I got it now. The reason he mixed up his memories is... Something to show that he suffered trauma in the past. Oh. Take that! The killer killer whale, the previous death. Mr. Rhymes, I think I know what happened. Ah. Could you have been mixing up what happened a year ago with this incident? Maybe that's why you slipped and said the owner was killed in front of spectators. Whoop. How did you... You're right. I did see the orc kill somebody a year ago. But what about it? I was just one of the spectators. Really? Just another spectator? There must be a reason why you feel great sadness about that incident last year. Silence! Stop this nonsensical cool scrutiny of feelings. Just presents evidence to prove your point. Ah! But boss! Do we have any kind of evidence that would back us up here? Hmm. There is one piece that comes to mind that might explain his sadness. Well, I'm waiting. Now it's time for the Nekalak.
I did it prematurely, because we weren't supposed to quite jump to this conclusion, I think. But I'm pretty sure this is it. Yup. Azura Summers died an accidental death one year ago. This is her boyfriend's charm. Huh. Hey! Whoa! What are you doing with that charm? It was found in Rifle's stomach yesterday. Judging by your reaction, I believe this charm belongs to you. I guess I need to push him just a little harder to make him admit it. When Mr. Rhyme said the word charm, he was very rattled. We better examine this charm a little more. Good idea. Let's look inside it. Let's break it open right in front of him. Let's smash it. Huh? What's this? A photograph. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Hey, this is Azura Summers and Marlon Rhymes. Mr. Rhymes, you and Azura Summers were a couple, weren't you? <laughs> so what if we were a couple? It doesn't have anything to do with the captain's case. You believe you saw the orca kill your girlfriend. That's the cause of your sadness. Isn't that emotion of yours connected to the current case? Silence. The only thing you revealed was the witness's relationship with the victim a year ago. What does the witness have passed have to do with the case at hand? I don't know yet. But we managed to pinpoint the source of his sadness. Now let's delve into who Mr. Rhymes is angry at. In the show pool, the orca shot the captain up into the air. Then the captain came down and slammed into the water. I can still remember the captain's dead body clearly. All Sasha did was remove the body. I think it's just the orca here at the beginning. Orla, Shipley. Got it. I think he's just mad at the whale for killing him. Mr. Rhymes, you're angry with Orla, aren't you? Angry? At an orca? Why would I be? They're the happiest, friendliest, murderous, gigantic dolphins the size of whales. <laughs> Uh, if you think I have some reason to be mad, then show me some proof. Do I have proof that Mr. Rhymes has a reason to be mad? Uh, yeah? I bet that evidence we just took a look at would come in handy here. Yeah. This charm indicates that you were Azura Summer's boyfriend. I'm sure you believe Orla killed your girlfriend a year ago. You lost your girlfriend, and so you've been angry. Angry at Orla. Orla anger. <laughs> All right. I'll admit it. I'll never forgive that orca. Azura is dead, and that orca is still swimming around, happy as a clam, happy as a whale, happy as a happy, 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 happy. I believe an animal keeper. I became an animal keeper just so I could prove that orca is a killer. You're right. I want that orca to pay. There! Do you feel good dragging up a person's past, but it still doesn't change anything? We still got some noise. He's right. I disagree. It does change things. His out-of-control emotion quieted down. Now we should be able to find the truth behind that emotion. Boop, boop, boop! Mega update! We got all the buttons back! We got a full set of emojis. The Uga shot the captain up into the air. We know he's mad at the whale. Then the captain came down and slammed into the water. Sad about that. I can still remember the clearly. All Sasha did was move the body. She was trying to protect the orca. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body. I freaked. But he didn't. Got it. You didn't freak. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body. You freaked? Really? What what are you getting at? Yeah, I freaked. I was like, whoa, 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 Mr. Plume is a witness, Orla was guaranteed to be accused of the murder. Didn't it work out exactly as you'd hoped? In order to have Orla put down, you made sure Mr. Plume witnessed that scene. <laughs> also, I was a titan at the time, and I started eating people. Uh-oh. 
Oh, that was a hilarious picture. So you figured all that out, did you? Huh? What? Yeah? What? M Mr. Rhymes, are you admitting it? I didn't really want to have to fight anybody but the orca. But you leave me no choice. Beryl? Whoa! You wouldn't like me when I'm angry! What just happened? Now it's time to get serious. Uh, oh, what, 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 what? Yo, yo, ho, ho! Oh, I'm and me brothers represent a vast G grass eaters. Stay free. Take me words and pop in your mouth. Scrappy grass eaters, deal to me beat. Yo, 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 ho, ho! Bro, I'm ready for the showdown. Whoa! Mm. What's going on? Where did this pirate fellow come from? Huh? He looks like a completely different person. That's some. Did he just drink a pile of, like, a protein barrel? It doesn't work that fast. I've tried. I've tried. You just poop real bad. Uh, order. If we don't have order, Prosecutor Blackwell will yell at us. <laughs> what just happened? I... I don't... <laughs> Even Prosecutor Blackwell is at a loss for words. So I plan to have that winch be a witness. Ah, <laughs> uh, you cut me out. It'd be true, I thought that ogre's murderer's way should be found out. That'd be why I schemed to have the plumes in the body. So you admit it. You deliberately framed Orla. <laughs> ah, it'd be true, but what skin be that off anybody's nose? That orc could be a murdering, scurvy dog. I may have a grudge against that orc, but I always feel grateful toward the captain. The orc murdered Azura and the captain, so of course she should walk the plank. <laughs> I, I don't have a response to that. I agree. It wouldn't make any sense for him to kill the owner. Would he? But his hatred for Orla on the other hand comes through loud and clear. Hmm. Wait a minute. If killing Mr. Shipley doesn't make sense, who would it make sense for Rhymes to kill? Maybe my theory has been all wrong. Your Honor, I think I just became aware of a new fact. I, it's a new thing that I call learning. Oh, and what is that? Now that we know about Mr. Rhymes' intense hatred of Orla, it turns out the premise we've been arguing under on its ear. I will now reveal the identity of the individual Mr. Rhymes meant to kill from the start. Did he just want to kill the whale? He didn't want to kill Sasha Buckley, did he? I think it's that. I think it has to be the whale. He wasn't trying to kill Jack. And I don't. I don't think it was Sasha. But what? So the witness's intent was to kill the orca. Exactly. The witness's intended victim was not Jack Shipley. From the start, it was all a scheme to kill Orla. The orca was his true target, but Jack Shipley is the one who died. The orca is alive and quite well. Hmm, he's right. He wanted to kill the orca, and yet it was Jack Shipley who fell to his death. How did that happen? Wait a minute. What if... What if Mr. Rhymes wanted to kill Orla was somehow connected to Mr. Shipley's death? Hmm. At a loss for words, are you? What happened to your bravado of a moment ago? Enough of these reckless words without any basis, in fact. Objection! They aren't reckless words. The basis for my claim is at the real murder scene. The show pool. What are you talking about? It is my contention that two incidents happened at the show pool. The attempted murder of the orca and the victim falling to his death. First of all, in order to kill the orca, Mr. Rhymes removed something from the scene. And by so doing, he made it possible for Mr. Shipley to fall to his death. That thing he removed is called water. What? 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 This, this is what Mr. Rhymes removed in order to attempt to kill Orla. Um, he removed the pirate ship. Or the ladder, then he can't climb out. That's how you kill a sim. If you take the ladder out, 
They can't leave and they just slowly drown. No, it's obviously the water. Don't tell me you're trying to claim he tried to kill the orca by draining the pool water. That's exactly what I'm claiming. To help the defendant with the cleaning, Marlon Rhymes took charge of Orla. With the plan to kill Orla in the show pool. And because the pool water was drained... It made it possible for Jack Shipley to fall to his death in the show pool. I don't know if you can still do it in The Sims. I managed to stop Amanda before she tried it, so we didn't actually get to find out firsthand. Uh, what? He's eating this! That's terrifying! I tried to kill the orca, you say? Huh? Can you even prove there was nary a drop of water in the pool? That day I was simply looking after the orca. Why would I have the monstrous thought of killing it? Objection! You claim you were looking after Orla in the early morning hours of July 20th. But I don't think you were doing a very good job of it. After all, Orla wasn't giving anything to eat during that time. How would you know such a thing? I know because of Orla's record here in the torpedo data system. This system continually records data in the subject it monitors. From Orla's record, we can tell exactly when she ate or didn't eat. Sink me! Nobody ever told me about that dazzly contraption! Highliner! Only a few of the Shipshape Aquarium staff knew about the system. According to Orla's record, she never ate in those early morning hours of the 20th. You planned to kill Orla, and that's why you didn't feed her. Silence! You're wasting time. What proof do you have of that? Perhaps the orca simply wasn't hungry. Ugh, he's right. I don't have any proof. If Orla simply didn't eat, then that would create an inconsistency. Where did her fish go? I have it. I got it. Her fish? Good question. Where did it disappear to? Fish, what does it matter? What relevance does it have to the case? Cease this stalling by asking inconsequential questions. Stop delving into the depths of the orca's stomach and delve into the case instead. Objection! But wait, it may seem like a small inconsistency, but it's an issue of great importance, I think. What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? How could the fish disappear? Somebody must have eaten it. So who came to the show stage and ate Orla's fish? I think I might have a pretty good idea. Was it the penguin? I believe there must have been a visitor to the show stage that Mr. Rhymes didn't notice. Visitor? Are you trying to introduce yet another suspect at this eleventh hour? If you utter more of your careless remarks, Taka won't look favorably upon it. I don't plan to utter any careless remarks. Whether my remarks will actually be related to the case or not, I don't yet know. Don't worry, boss. If Tucker comes this way, I'll fend him off. But do try to keep your remarks careful. Somehow, Orla's fish disappeared. Somebody must have visited the show stage, but who? This was the visitor to the show stage! Um, It's gotta be Rifle, right? It was the mechanical octopus! It ate everything! Herman Crab came into all the fish! Yep, yep, every last fish! I believe Rival the Penguin visited the show stage. First an orca, now a penguin. A murderous penguin. Why would why would you be saying such a thing, Mr. Lawyer? I didn't see Rifle doing the wee early morning hours. Do you have any proof? Rifle visited the show stage. If you be a lawyer of any salt, show me your evidence. Show me your salt. The bottom of Rifle's feet were pink for some reason. That fact is a clue the rifle was indeed at the show stage. I have to present that piece of evidence that connects rifle to this. You've just laid it out for me. We just show him the sign. Now to prove I'm a lawyer worth my salt. Give me salt. Cover me in salt. I'm going to be so salty. The proof is the sign. Take that! Oh my. What a cute little sign. Look at all those uh, adorable stars. These stars are actually starfish. Miss Buckler painted this sign. In the early morning hours of the 20th, she left this sign at the show stage to dry. Mr. Rhymes kept an eye on the sign for Miss Buckler while the paint was drying. 
Aye, that'd be true. But what be your point? Oh, this sign, on this sign, is proof that Rifle visited the show stage. Proof of the penguin's visit? I'm afraid I don't see it. Where's this proof that the penguin visited the show stage? Please point it out. Please, show me. Show me where there's a penguin. I love to look at penguins. They're so cute. Take <laughs> that! A couple of the pink starfish are shaped a little differently from the others. I am right. They look almost like little leaves. Rifle had pink paint on the bottom of her feet. These little leaf-like shapes on this sign are actually Rifle's footprints. Rifle made these footprints by walking on the sign before it was dry. Ho oh, ho! What cute little pink penguin print! So there are footprints. What of them? Who cares? Marlon Rhymes watching over the sign of the show stage while the paint dried. And during that time, the penguin paid a visit. According to the torpedo data system, we know that Rifle ate something that morning of the 20th. Most likely, Rifle ate the fish meant for Orla that was at the show stage. Orla's snack was a small quantity of fish. Even a penguin could have eaten it all. Begad! Rifle ate Orla's fish! Who'd be he to say Rifle ate Orla's fish? She could have picked up food anywhere! But that doesn't change the fact that I really was at the show stage. After all, I had to help move the skull rock. It couldn't have been moved without me. The witness claims he never saw the penguin. How do you explain this contradiction? Both Mr. Rhymes and Rifle were at the show stage, but Mr. Rhymes didn't see her. So where could Mr. Rhymes have been at the time? Right, Dono. If you aren't up to the task, I could disprove this witness's testimony for you. If I leave it to Prosecutor Blackwell, Sasha will be declared guilty. I can't let him interrupt this line of reasoning. Mr. Wright, let's try to figure out how things looked when Rifle came to the show stage. Mr. Rhymes at the show stage, keeping an eye on Orla and the sign. And we know it must be true because he helped move the skull rock. Then Rifle came in and walked over the sign. But would Mr. Rhymes notice Rifle if he was right there? Well, let's think about where Mr. Rhymes could have been. Is there a place in the show area from which Rifle couldn't have been seen? I would say... Down here? Take that! What? Inside the pool? But you're right. If he was inside the pool, he wouldn't have noticed Rifle. So are you saying Mr. Rhymes was underwater the whole time Rifle was eating? Nope. Not underwater. When I think about what he was trying to do, the answer is clear. Now I'm finally starting to get the whole picture. <laughs> Just like yesterday. Must you two always be whispering to each other? <laughs> Why don't you admit that resorting to a penguin will get you nowhere? Objection! Oh, I don't know about that. The fact that Mr. Rhymes didn't notice Rifle is such a small inconsistency. But it's a key point that proves what Mr. Rhymes is trying to do! The penguin is a key point. The show stage pool is very deep. If Rifle came to visit while Mr. Rhymes was at the bottom of this pool, he would have never noticed Rifle. Arrgh! Orcas can be out of the water for a short time without sustaining damage. But if they're out of the water for a long time, they weaken and eventually die. In order to kill Orla, Mr. Rhymes had to drain the pool. And while the pool was drained of water, Mr. Shipley fell to his death. The show stage pool is about 65 feet deep, just like the orca pool. Without water in the pool, a person could be made to fall 65 feet. Mr. Rhymes probably wondered what to do. If he continued his plan to kill Orla, how would he dispose of Mr. Shipley's body? So he devised a plan to kill two birds with one stone. What? How? That seems impossible. You would have to be such a skilled marksman to hit two birds with a single stone. Mr. Rhymes went down to the bottom of the pool and put the victim bo victim's body in the rock. He then had Miss Buckler move the rock and the body together. Silence! And the witness made the defendant do this somehow without arousing her suspicion. That's right. Mr. Shipley told Miss Buckler that she couldn't perform in the new show. Miss Buckler became upset and wanted to switch back to the old version of the show. So Mr. Rhymes conveniently suggested that she take and hide a prop for the new show. 
Mr. Rhymes then manipulated Orla using her singing and lifesaver tricks. He schemed to have Orla find the body while Mr. Plume would be standing witness. He saddled Orla with the false charge of murder so that Orla would be put down. Ooh, what? <laughs> Arr! Roar! Grrr! So the fact that the witness didn't see the penguin shows that when Rifle visited the show stage, Rhymes was putting the body in the rock. At the bottom of the pool, that is. Who would have thought the presence of a penguin could prove the witness's actions? Ooh, 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 I love penguins! It's working just a little further now, and Sasha will be proven not guilty. Science. If you think you've won this battle, you are sorely mistaken. Your theory is based on the notion that the witness could manipulate the orca. Witness, can you control the orca's actions? Of course not! What kind of bilge be that? I be but a simple animal keeper! In my memory serves. Was it Miss Buckler the only one who could issue commands to the orca? Hmm. 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 Uh. Uh. <laughs> the judge's blade is sharper than the lawyer's. If you wish to do battle with a witness, you'll need to hold the blade. Where is your sword of evidence that Marlin Rhymes could manipulate the orca? I've got it. I know exactly what it is. Ah, my hair! The, whole, the rest of my hair! <laughs> yep, yep. It's the video phone. Rhymes had to manipulate Orla in order for his plan to work. But how can I prove it? Well, it appears this line of reasoning has become unsustainable. Objection! Oh! Well, it appears that I was mistaken. Uh, Athena? I've analyzed the hearts of all kinds of people. I have enough experience to see when I look into your heart that you haven't given up. So that objection was my way of speaking up for your heart. I have no idea what it is, so you're going to have to take over. Thanks, Snake. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for objecting. It's all you. Bye, bye, bye. She's right. Why would I become a lawyer again only to give up? I have to keep fighting. Athena, thank you. With your help, I've remembered the old right way. The right? The right? Oh, it's a joke off of your name. Your Honor, I'm not finished with presenting my argument. Hmm. <clears throat> Do you have anything else to ask this witness? You've cross-examined all the witnesses and presented all your evidence. Objection! All the witnesses? Hmm. I don't think so. I haven't cross-examined the most important one. The central figure in both cases. The central figure? The one involved in not only the case a year ago, but this current case, too. I've never called her as a witness, but it's time to do so now. Who, who are you talking about? I demand you tell the court immediately. Is it time? Is it time? For the whale? The defense calls the central figure in both cases, Orla the Orca. You, you intend to cross-examine an orca? I cross-examine an orca? You must be addled. It'd be impossible, says I. Silence. This absurdity is beyond the pale. How do you expect to question an orca, a creature incapable of speech? Objection! Orla is intricately involved in this case. I have every right to cross-examine her. I'm gonna completely not answer your question, though. Besides, even if she can't speak, I think cross-examining her will be invaluable. Very well. Do what you will, then. But if you fail to garner anything from this little exercise with the Orca, I hope you realize the reward for your efforts will be the defendant's guilty verdict. I'm ready and confident. So, cross-examining Orla, huh? That was a bold move, boss. You're, uh, looking a little crazy, though. Now all we have to do is figure out how Mr. Rhymes uh, manipulated Orla. That's right. Now it's Orla's turn to help us save Sasha. 
An orca defendant yesterday. An orca witness today. This is truly unprecedented. But even though this is highly unusual, I'm prepared to allow it. Bailiff, ready the witness telecast. We'll have a ten minute recess while the telecast is being set up. Huh. Huh. To be continued.